Hey guys, this is Chris with Sycophab. Today we'll be installing this Defender 110 uh, matte black hood decal. Uh, it's pretty much designed to be like the, the factory uh, OEM unit. Uh, some of these you can get pre-installed. Uh, one of the benefits of this uh, anti-glare type sticker is that let's say you're off-roading or just driving in general, uh, instead of having the, the sun and light bounce and kind of blind you. Uh, this should absorb it a little bit. Also, it's a nice uh, little styling element. You'll see a lot of these installed on channels on YouTube already. And what they're doing is using transfer paper to move it over. This is my prototype one. Uh, I just created this and based off the dimensions, it should be a pretty good fit. If it is, we'll keep it on. If not, uh, we'll just use it for instructions. Uh, I will do a two part on this video and uh, pretty much combine those videos, I, I have to go back and put transfer paper on this portion. You will need transfer paper to keep the alignment of these letters, but right now I'm gonna focus on this big part. What I've done, we've run this car through a car wash. We also applied um, isopropyl alcohol and uh, water mix to clean the area that this vinyl decal goes on. And then I've refilled this bottle with one drop of dish uh, soap, Dawn, and, uh, and water. So it's mainly water. What we're going to do is spray this kind of on the hood and spray it on the decal. This will let me, one, it's going to let me move this decal around in case my alignment is not perfect. Two, all this soap and water will allow me to get all the air bubbles out. They won't get trapped underneath. Makes it a little bit easier to install for novices. I have washed my hands because I want to reduce the amount of oil on my hands. I have removed my wedding ring because I don't want that to come in contact with the paint. Just grab a corner of this. Because I can see my fingerprints on this already from the adhesive. But when as I spray it down, uh, you won't actually. It'll stop transferring oils and whatnot over. Of course, I'm also using a ladder because I'm not that tall. I figured you'd have to be really tall to be able to reach every corner of your hood. I'm actually gonna take my Apple Watch off too. There's a little metal part on the back side. Flip this over. Ideally, you want to do this someplace that's not windy at all. So, we're doing it in the garage because it's also freezing cold outside. So you saw when I took it off, this part stuck to here, but because I have the soap on it, it didn't permanently affix itself that way. Move this guy up a little. Get over.
because this vehicle is black on black, it does make it a little bit difficult to see. If I had been able to do this in the daylight, probably would have been easier on me. Probably gonna storm though in the morning, so this is about the best chance I get at doing this. So if I can straighten out this upper portion first, get that to where I like it, then I can start working my way down the hood. So I'm just using my fingers to push the water out. Make sure you don't have any buttons or anything on your pants if you wind up leaning across Ideally, when you're trying to get all the water and the bubbles out, you're kind of starting in the middle, pushing it to a corner. If you do decide to use a credit card or a squeegee, be sure to wrap it in something like a microfiber. This will help keep it from actually damaging the vinyl. And just go slowly. What you don't want to do is push too hard, too fast. You'll get a crease and then you'll kind of run it over making that crease permanent. Honestly, it's not the ideal temperature in my garage right now. It's probably slightly above freezing. Well, it might be 38 to 42 degrees Fahrenheit.
if you get into a situation where it really is not going the way you want to, you can apply a very light amount of heat. Of course, you don't want to stretch this material too much or the shape will change completely. And you'll see that in the straight, straight lines that it's supposed to have wind up being bowed out. You might be able to see that I got a crease right here. I'm trying to just massage it out. When you wind up stretching the material a little bit, it just pushes that crease down. Creases right here. Trying to stretch the material around it so it pulls that crease out. I guess the one benefit that I have is that this hood is a little bit warm from our last trip. In general, vinyl works a little bit better when there's some heat in it. starting to dry out.
naturally. You do need to be a little bit patient towards the end. You get to the point where the vinyl just doesn't have room to go anywhere. So you start seeing more of these little creases. This hood does have a curve to it. It has a curve this way, and it has a curve this way. So the material has a stretch over that. So the more patient you can be, the better. Also, I, I tend to become a little impatient when I'm filming this. I'm trying not to get in front of the lens. I'm trying to keep at an angle where you guys can still see what we're trying to do. So working kind of within those parameters <laughs> makes it a little bit more difficult for myself. If you didn't know, they also make felt tip or felt side, um, felt sided squeegees. I think those would work very well too. I do want to warn you when you pull the material up and you get to any corner like this, there is going to be more of a chance that you will tear the corner, so be really careful around those corners. So this is the first time I've tried to install something this big in general, I think, and the first time this template has been printed out. I did create this template on my own. So for that, I guess it wasn't that bad. I'm just gonna tell you guys this so that you watch out. My template, I, I should have moved it over a little bit. It's a speck over this way. Because we're black on black, it's kind of hard to tell. I think if I had applied it on a white car or basically any other color, I could have been able to tell that it was shifted over just a little bit. I don't think many people notice on this vehicle. So you're not gonna see this, but I'm gonna go put transfer paper on the 110 part and I'll come back and install that. All right, so you can see that I put transfer paper on this 110 part. Yours will come pre-applied with that. Now this can be tricky. Again, we're black on black here. So it's really hard to see. All right, so because it was black on black, this was pretty hard. What you could do is put like a, a marker mark so you can actually see really clearly uh, where the end of the vinyl is. Uh, what I did and what I'll probably suggest you guys do is wet this part down again um, like you did the other part. So with the water, I could see exactly 
where this was, where this was, and where it was on the other side. And when I started to push it back down, I had to peel the backing paper up slightly and push the, the vinyl down, make sure it started to transfer over. So if you're happy with that alignment, go ahead and take your credit card and paper towel or microfiber and squeegee and just push down the rest. If you haven't wet this part over here, just make sure that you're pushing all the air out as you go up. Start in the middle, push outward, just making sure you trap no air bubbles under there. Like I said, personally, I might be coming back and changing up the design of what I put in this area. Not sure if I want a standard You're gonna squeegee this with your microfiber and squeegee. Just be very careful not to clip the corners of the letters. I'll work on that a little bit more, but it's pretty much what you got. What's funny is on the camera, you can see this a lot better than what I can even see it in, in person. So pretty tough, but pretty happy with the outcome. Please visit our site uh, to actually purchase this. And feel free to contact us uh, using our contact form on our site as well.